thirsty. Caring for someone else means besides taking care of their physical health and the, the, their, their immediate environment, that their home is clean and in order, it also means taking care of the financial and sort of their legal life around them. So on the financial side, the first thing is taking a really hard look at just understanding financially what's coming in, what's going out. If the house is paid for, if the house is not paid for, obviously there has to be the mortgage paid and the rent paid. But that house better be insured. And this is where you go have another conversation with the insurance agent and you're saying things such as, well, in addition to mom living there, there's now an aide there who stays three nights a week. Let them know. Put it all through a checking account. Keep excellent records. That's one element of the finances, but there are others. If a property is held by mom, you wanna make sure that the taxes are paid. You wanna make sure that the insurance is maintained on the property. That is different than another aspect of finance and insurance, and that is the health insurance selection for the elder. Older adults most have Medicare. But many adults need to have a Medicare supplement program because the Medicare doesn't cover a 100% of everything under every circumstance. And therefore, that caregiver, if the elder is unable to make their own choice, that choice needs to be made for them. If the health insurance plan changes, it needs to be reviewed. Change could be in a medical condition of the elder or a change could be in the benefits of a health insurance plan. And every fall of the year, people receive lots of materials from competing insurance companies offering to supplement Medicare or to provide different insurance plans. For a caregiver who is trying to make an informed choice, if they are not able to do so, in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, there is a service called a prize. And a prize is paid for by the federal government, and it is to provide information that will help the caregiver or the elder make a choice about which insurance plan is in their best interest at this time. It's available 12 months of the year. Do not wait to the last minute. The advice is neutral. It's publicly supported. Your tax dollars are already doing that for you. So let me talk about a difficult one as the caregiver, and that is the elder's car. When you believe the person should no longer be driving, as the caregiver, as difficult as it may be, to limit someone's independence, it is time to have the difficult conversation. If you're not being heard, raise it with the person's physician and let them enter into the conversation. Because it's then about both the safety of the elder as well as others who are out on the road. If you're going to have the car, really think about the insurance on the car. And if now somebody else is driving the car more frequently than the elder is, it's time to talk to your insurance agent and make sure all the parties are covered properly. Daddy, we're gonna comb your hair. It may feel harsh to make financial choices, but it really is prudent. 